the whole Nishoni chiefs because all of the chiefs come to these assemblies. And um, when they do their election for the regional chief, they do what's called the Anishinaabe traditional election. And so say him and I were running for chief, um, we would we get two minutes to say what, what our intentions are on how we're going to help our people. And that's it, you get cut off after two minutes. And then so everybody gets to go, gets up and you go and stand in behind the person that um, you support on how they're going to do it. And, and it's around um, some ceremonial items. So him and I would be facing one another. So I could see who's all standing behind him, but mm -hmm. I can't see who's behind me, and he can see who's behind me. So we go, we go if there was just the two of us, then um, you have the runners that do the counting, and if he has more people, well then we all go and stand behind him and support him. And then what he does as a chief is he goes and talks to every single one of those individuals that he's seen standing opposite him, asking them, what would you like to see me do to help you? Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. it's a consensus building exercise, and it provides more support to to the um, to the system. And there's been times where there's been seven people that have been running for regional chief, and it takes a it's a really interesting. It's so mm -hmm. exciting, and it's just mm -hmm. powerful yeah. to watch that that happen because it's it's all ceremony that's going on also, um, and just to see the consensus building on people. Um, which, what they're supporting as, as the political, so if, if, uh, if I was to say, well, my political platform is going to be education, I'm going to push for more education dollars, I'm going to push for better education policy, and if he said his is social and he's going to push for more youth advocacy, well, it just depends on, you know, what your community has told your chief or what your chief is thinking that is best for your community and who he goes and stands behind. So that's how they do the Ontario regional election. I don't know how they do it. Um, well, by AFN, it's secret ballot. But I don't know about any other regions on, on how they do it. But the Chiefs of Ontario have adopted that mechanism. And it also gives you a transparency, um, accountability, because you're, you're, you know, your next <coughs> time around, you want to be accountable to those people that were standing opposite you. So you really engage them and, and it engages everybody. But what they typically do is if an issue is brought to the table, so say we um, bring um, a, water, a bill that the government is passing that we're against because it's going to infringe on our rights. Um, we typically get a chief to do the presentation for us, like as a policy analyst, I'd write all of the information. The chief would do the presentation, and then there would be open discussion on the floor. So everybody just gets up and speaks in a mic and talks about what they think, and there's typically a resolution that's um, on the table, or as they say, on the floor, and everybody speaks to that resolution on what they think it's inside there, what's important, and um, and then they just say, they do a voting system, and um, out of the 12 years that I was there, I've only seen maybe two or three of them that were not, um, that were, they didn't do a consensus, they actually had to call a vote because it was just going on too long and too long, and we don't have all of that time that we used to have, or we that we used to use to make decisions in the past. And so they did a vote, and then we just run around and counted people, and then it was carried with the vote. But then um, the, the technician or the coordinator that was responsible for that file would typically go back and talk with some <coughs> of those chiefs that were against that and why they were against it and try to get incorporating their wording or into a strategic plan so that everybody is still mm -hmm. pushing behind that same thing. But typically, the um, the dissension amongst the ranks was uh, money. Um, casino Rama is a casino that was ba that was built, and it's supposed to share, and it's based on a formula. And um, the northern communities obviously um, pay a way lot more for food. Um, they're run by diesel. They don't have access to electricity. They there's all kinds of different problems than what's in the south. So they they think that they should have um, a bigger cut of the pie. So there was a formula that was drafted and they agreed that yes, then the remote communities should have a bigger piece of the pie. Everybody agreed upon that, but then they couldn't agree upon what the formula actually was. So, so they still had 
that higher level agreement. It was just the technical component is what they couldn't agree on. So any any other questions? This Comments? is very striking the, the how fully